And if you do it on a regular basis, I promise you'll see your testosterone levels increase. Guess what? I'm Mark McKillier and this is Live Anabolic. And let's talk about foods that can increase your testosterone level. And specifically, I'm gonna talk about four foods today that can help your body maximize its production of testosterone. So guys, if you've seen any of my videos where I'm talking about nutrition or cooking or whatever, when it comes to food, you'll know that I'm incredibly lazy. I'm a bachelor, I hate to cook. So pretty much any time I, I give you all some tips or tricks when it comes to food, it's always super simple, okay? And I think that's a, a big bonus, right? Because anybody can put together uh, a meal plan for you that requires all kinds of ingredients and cooking and, and hours of preparation. My gosh, you know, you know it's going to taste great, but it's just a big pain in the butt. And that ain't me. So I'm looking for tips and tricks when it comes to food to increase my testosterone as simply as possible. All right. So some of these foods are going to be super simple. All right. Some of them are going to take maybe 90 seconds to a, two minutes to, to cook, but all of them are crazy easy. And the first one is eggs. Uh, now eggs are high in HDL cholesterol. So, you know, you got, there's two different types of cholesterol and, and one cholesterol, one of them is actually good for you. You need HDL. And um, part of the reason for that is that your body uses that as a precursor to make testosterone. Um, and so that's why some of these other videos Gary and I have shot will talk about don't ever go on a super low fat diet. Because if you go on a really low fat diet, you won't get enough of the good cholesterol, the, the good fat in your diet, and it will screw up your hormones. So eggs are super simple, guys. Almost everybody likes them. Um, and you don't have to to fry them up. You don't have to have a bunch of, you know, stuff, you know, splattering, you know, out of the skillet. You can just hard boil them. And of course, when you hard boil eggs, it means they're great to take on the go. You know, you can, you can stick them in a little Ziploc baggie and take them with you. I mean, you can just pop it in your mouth, grab a couple in your hand, hop in the car, you know, and as you're driving to work, just chomp down on them. You know, you don't need a fork or a plate or anything like that. So eggs are super simple. They have the good fat, the good HDL, which your body needs for, for testosterone production, and they have a lot of protein. Each egg has about eight grams of protein, so protein is also really important. Okay, so the second food that you guys really need to, to concentrate on getting into your daily diet, and, and, and I mean that um, sincerely, you really need to do this kind of stuff on a daily basis, day in, day out. I mean, you can miss a day once a week, but, but if this is something that you just kind of throw into your diet, you know, two or three times a week, it's not going to work. You really need good, healthy nutrition on a daily basis. And that is greens. Now, most of you guys are going to start kind of wincing like I am right now when it comes to greens. You don't want your broccoli. You don't want your asparagus. Um, you know, you don't want your spinach. I'm trying to think, you know, all the green, good, healthy vegetables. All right. Some guys just don't like the way they taste. Some people don't want to have to prepare them, cook them. They don't want to go to the grocery store and wash them, et cetera. They, they tend to spoil, um, but they're all fantastic for you. And you need them because those veggies help your body to eliminate estrogen. Now, Guys, we do have estrogen just like women, you know, and it, we're pretty much inverse to women. So women have low levels of testosterone and high levels of estrogen, and we're the other way around. So we do need some, but if your body is holding on to too much estrogen, if you're not eating a healthy diet, that can happen. And man, it can really screw your hormones up. So if you have too much estrogen in your body, guys, it can really make it difficult for you to produce your normal healthy levels of testosterone. So what's my trick? All right. I just told you, you know, it, it's, that's kind of a pain. All right. I know I'm biased here, guys, but you got to try it. Supplements are super simple. I mean, Testo Greens is something we've been selling for a while now. We get fantastic reviews. Just click the link below this video. All right. I'm not going to tr even try to go into all the ingredients in here because I can't remember them all. But if you click the link below this video, it'll take you to our website 
and then click on Testo Greens, and it has a long write-up about it. I mean, it's really interesting. Um, I think our group did a, a great job of explaining what's in it, why we put it in there, why it's good for you. And then guys, man, seconds. You can just take a scoop out, put it in some water and boom, you're done. You've had all your healthy <laughs> green servings for the day. And then the other thing is guys, check out the reviews. I, I probably don't mention this enough, but, but every single one of our products on our website has got reviews at the very bottom. So just kind of scroll up, you know, until you get to the very bottom and then you'll see a whole long list of reviews. And those are, those are genuine customers. Those aren't, you know, fake things that we can create. It's actually a software program that we use that, that links into our, our shopping cart so that when people buy it, we know they're a verified buyer and only verified buyers are able to leave comments. So guys, check it out. It's way too easy not to at least try. Okay. The third food, guys, is potatoes. <laughs> and I'm laughing because I'm thinking about, about uh, when the vice president, Dan Quayle, tried to spell potatoes. What was that, 20 years ago? <laughs> he was at like a, a fourth grade class and misspelled it. That's something I would do. I don't know how to spell potatoes. But I know why they're good for you, guys, because potatoes are basically a, a healthy carb. It's a whole food. It's not processed, okay? And... Potatoes have a low glycemic index. And basically that just means it takes your body a, a while to digest and absorb the carbohydrate, which means it keeps your insulin levels from spiking. All right, that's kind of the drawback to sugar and other processed foods. It really makes your insulin level spike, okay? And you know, and then boom, it spikes, and then that will dramatically lower your blood sugar level a little while later. And then you get this big oscillating up and down. So guys, whole foods, potatoes are a really good complex carb. And your body can use these complex carbs to help lower your cortisol levels. Remember, we got just tons and tons of hormones. I can't even keep track of them all. I just know, you know, three or four are the most important ones. And cortisol is a stress hormone. We all produce it, not just when you're stressed, but it's just something you naturally produce. And your body, eliminates it when you're sleeping and resting and all kinds of things like that. But having good, healthy carbs are necessary for your body to just naturally process and eliminate cortisol because the more cortisol you have, the less testosterone you can make. You know, your body uses an enzyme, kind of a precursor to making both cortisol and testosterone. And if you're making tons of cortisol, then that means that enzyme, that precursor, has been taken up by something you don't want in your body. So hence, we're not able to produce as much testosterone. So potatoes are great for you and they're super simple, guys. You can take a big old baked potato or just a plain potato, stick it in the microwave, you know, you know, nuke it for a few minutes. I love microwaves, all right? Throw some cheese on there, a little butter, boom, you're ready to go. Or you can chop it up, throw it in the skillet with some olive oil and fry it up. Tastes great both ways. All right, so the fourth and last for today, Brazil nuts. All right, <laughs> kind of, what is that? All right, so my editor has got to go find some pictures of some Brazil nuts and throw those on the screen right now as I'm talking so you don't look at me talking about Brazil nuts and get really bored. Well, guess what? Brazil nuts are high in something called selenium. And, you know, I don't know all this stuff just necessarily off the top of my head. I have to research this. So, guys, selenium is another mineral that your body needs, you know, on a daily basis, all right, to help produce the maximum amount of testosterone that we just naturally can, okay? It's not going to make your T levels skyrocket, but at least it will give your body everything it needs, all right, to, to produce the amount of testosterone, you know, my body makes on a daily basis, yours, etc. But the problem is, guys, you can overdo it. Now, most of these things are super safe and no big deal, but selenium, you can actually get too much selenium. So don't go out and buy some selenium um, supplements, all right? And don't go out and buy a big giant tub of Brazil nuts and then just crank that down every day. You only need one to three, between one and three nuts a day, all right? So there is such a thing as too much of a good thing and you can you can definitely eat too many brazil nuts real easily so max it out at just three a day and so based on the research that i've seen online when i when i kind of put all this stuff together 
you know, Brazil nuts really can help your body produce more testosterone as long as you're getting a little bit of it every day. All right, guys, so four simple foods. Someone as goofy and lazy as me, a bachelor who hates to cook, can easily put together every single day. It's easy to stick with. And if you do it on a regular basis, I promise you'll see your testosterone levels increase at least to a point that's the maximum that your body can produce, all right? It's not necessarily gonna make it go sky high and turn into a big steroid freak, but it will make you feel better. And remember, you gotta stick with it and never give up on yourself.